How do you break the excessive overthinking, the brain fog, and the awkwardness when talking to other people? Coming up. Greetings, heroes, adventurers. Welcome to Geek Psychology. I'm Sherman, and I'm here to help you find your true character and level it up so you can play life better. Talking to people is is a struggle for a lot of us. Uh, it's something that I went through whew, a long time trying to figure out, one, how do I talk to other people and how do I understand other people in the first place? Like, how do I make sense of these other beings that are not myself? Um, and then also when I came to Japan, I had to learn how to do that in Japanese as well. And it was just all sorts of things. So I've been through it. And I have been through a lot of the struggle. So I'm going to break down that question that I started with um, into the three different parts. So first, we're going to talk about overthinking. Then we're going to talk about brain fog and then awkwardness. Number one, overthinking. Uh, you're overthinking things, in my opinion, you know, this is all my opinion, but you're overthinking things because you're aiming for some sort of an outcome for yourself. Okay, you want things to go a certain way. And because of that, you're complicating everything. You're overthinking all this stuff. Think of the other person as, as the most interesting alien you've ever met. Right? They're just somebody that, that you're just so intrigued with, so curious about. I remember when I was on the bus and like, uh, it had to be, yeah, I think it was first year high school, maybe second year high school. Somebody, one of the cool girls sat next to me and was, I remember her specifically saying that she wanted to get to know me more. She was like, she told her friends, she was like, I, I'm just so curious about this, this kid. I want to know like what makes him tick. And that still stuck with me, right? It's still there. And that feeling, in my opinion, is something that you want to give to other people. You know, you want them to feel listened to. You want them to feel like you are curious about them. If you're overthinking, how do I make things go the way that I want? How do I make this the perfect conversation or whatever it is? I think you're missing the point, right? You want to figure out what this person likes, who this person is. Just get to know them. Like, why Why are you wearing that, that pendant? People ask me this all the time, right? It's you want to dig into what makes that person who they are, right? And sometimes, you know, for for myself as well, like we we try to go a little too deep, too quick, a little too fast, too furious, right? With this conversation, we just, we try to pour it all on there and, and like make this the one conversation that's going to change the, the course of our life. And there's a lot of pressure and that's going to make you overthink things. Right? If you put that much emphasis on it, you're going to overthink it. So just treat them like they're somebody that you're curious about and pretend that they're the most interesting person or alien there until you stop pretending. Like Just do it so much and you'll find things that you like about them. You'll find things that are intriguing. That doesn't mean you need to date them or bring it to the next level or whatever it is, but you're making that person feel good. And you're building your conversation skill set in the meantime. Let's talk about the next one, brain fog. So it's, think of it as the metaphor. Like, it's it's white. You don't know what's going on. You can't see anything. You can't see where you're going, right? You don't, you're just kind of like feeling for some way through this, this conversation, right? You don't know what's right for you. You don't know what you've left behind in the conversation. Things you should have taken with you, you know, you, you just don't know anything. You don't know what you're you're standing on in terms of a platform to have this conversation. Whatever, how deep you want to take that metaphor is up to you. Bring in a canned opener. And I know it sucks. I know you don't like to do that because I didn't like to do that. Uh, but it's, it's something that you are comfortable with creating the start of a conversation with. Right? Even if it's you go to a bar and you just want to, like, hey, what are you drinking? Maybe that's your like lowest level opener. Just 
it opens the conversation. You, there's no pressure there. You're just starting it. You're just having this little conversation about what is in a glass. Don't need to complicate it too much more, right? If you're very in tune with the sensory world, you know, you picking up on what people are wearing, necklaces and things like that, like compliment somebody on that. Don't do it like to get something out of it, but like, hey, that's a really cool necklace. Tell me about it. Like, I'm, I'm curious about it. You know, you don't need to like slide in there and act all weird about it. Like, hey, what, what you got on your neck? That's that's not going to do anything. And that's going to lead into that awkwardness that we're going to talk about in a second. But just have things that you are comfortable with talking about. And try it. Which brings us to the next one. Awkwardness. Yeah, yeah, it's it's going to happen. People are going to be awkward. I, I've been awkward. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with my hands. I've been awkward my whole life, um, but I have brought it down to a manageable level, I think. At least I've, I'm comfortable with it now, which is a good thing. The way to get over that awkwardness, in my understanding of what that is in this, in this question here, is to just do it, to just do it over and over and over again until you build skills around it. That's probably not what you wanted to hear, but it is, in my opinion, the best way to do it is you're getting practice. You're taking the steps forward so that you can clear the brain fog and you can have a conversation with this other person. Like, just do it, fail beautifully, and then recoup, recover, rebuild your armor, whatever it is, and go out there and do it again. And you're going to get through that phase of of being like this one person is turning me down and i don't know what to do with my life now you know you're putting all that weight on somebody and something that doesn't need to have that meaning attached to it if you're putting so much energy and focus into not failing you're going to be clumsy you're going to be awkward that's, I mean, that's how it always has worked for me. I see that with, with friends and family all the time, too. Like, oh, there's a lot of pressure here. I better not drop these knives. And <laughs> just like, ding, 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 ding. You drop them everywhere. And bad things happen because you're just putting so much pressure on it. So just chill. Just take a breath. So in order to get over the awkwardness, you just need to keep doing it. And you need to take it as they're not turning me down. They're just turning their representation or understanding of who I am down because I didn't give them enough um, insight into who I am. Does that make sense? Use that. Gain more skills with it. Just do it again. Do it again. Go to a different place if you need to. Shake it off. Take some breaths. Uh, tap it out. Do whatever you got to do. And feel into a state that's going to be more beneficial. Be like, I'm just, it's a learning process. I'm going to Continue to be awkward until I've gained the skills around it and I'm not as awkward anymore. Like, if I have to throw a javelin, I'm going to be really awkward with it. It's probably not going to go where I want it to go. I might even stab my foot. I don't know what's going to happen. I might stab somebody else. It's just not going to go well until I practice it again and again and again and build the skills around it. I know there's there's that little... There's a problem because you've you think that these social situations are life and death. I mean, because I did it too. I felt that too. But it's not. It's, you're not going to have anything really bad happen to you physically. You might have some emotional stuff that you got to process, but process it. Don't push it down. Don't push it away. Don't blame it on the world. Like, just do it. Just go out, talk to somebody, and you'll start to unclear that brain fog and you'll be less awkward you'll stop overthinking things because you'll have more experience uh, that you can bring in there okay so that's that's a quick rundown of my opinion on how do you clear excessive thinking brain fog and awkwardness when uh, talking to other people all right so i hope it helped uh, please let me know down below what's helped you what's worked well for you and um, what was maybe good from this video. All right, so like, share, subscribe as well, and keep up the lifelong questing. Good luck, have fun. Peace.